OpenWRT1 is an OpenWRT-based router designed specifically for the 20th anniversary of OpenWRT. This is the first and fully upstream supported hardware design by the OpenWRT community. Why did I buy it? OpenWRT1 seems pretty affordable for a device supporting Wi-Fi 6, running open source firmware and having an option to expand the internal storage with an M.2 SSD. I am planning to use it as my home NAS. The CPU seems to be quite capable, too, so I will be able to host some services of my choice. I think it is a good deal, considering the price, which is approximately 130 American dollars. Downsides? There could be more LAN ports, as 4 is standard nowadays. In the video, you can see the designer's and manufacturer's website with relevant descriptions of the device. You can also see the unit I ordered on AliExpress. It arrived to me really fast. I ordered it on the 24th of October. The estimated delivery time was between the 27th of November and the 4th of December. However, it arrived on the 8th of November. The package is plain simple. It contains an OpenWRT1 router, a USB-C power supply with support for multiple output voltages, that is 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts, 3 antennas, a USB-C cable, four sticky rubber pads to be used as legs for the device case, and a small screwdriver with a few screws, probably to be used to mount additional storage. I have not configured the device yet. I guess there will be no surprise as the device uses plain open WRT firmware. The designer claims it is almost unbrickable due to the use of two separate storage chips, NOR and NAND. As I mentioned, I am planning to use it as a NAS server, but also as a gateway to the internet. If you have the same idea, be sure not to expose Lucy, that is the router configuration interface, on the WLAN, as Lucy is a common attack vector for bots. Thank you for watching the video. The rest of the footage contains preview of Lucy interface found in my OpenWRT1 unit. Enjoy!